Guys, Mauricio here, and today I'm going to be doing a long run. So this week is actually my down week, so this long run is going to be about 70 to 75 minutes versus the usual 90 minutes that I do. So right now it's about 41 degrees with a wind chill, it's like 33, so I'm just going to wear um, my jacket and my usual stuff, and hopefully the wind keeps me cool. I'll see y'all on this mount, and yeah, I'll see y'all outside. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go for 70 to 75 minutes. I think that should be enough time to do the loop that I usually do. Right now, I'm just walking, letting myself cool down, just letting myself relax before I run. Um, I came back from class today, so, you know, I'm, st I'm warm, you know, I'm used to being inside, I'm awake. So I'm like, I'm a little tense, I'm a little hot. So I'm just letting myself cool down and relax right now. I'm also wearing my new hokas. Aren't they beautiful? All right, I think I'm gonna start now. I mean, I'm getting a little bit cold, so that's perfect. All right, so long run starts now. Thirteen, nineteen. I feel a lot more comfortable and just faster with my new shoes on. I'll probably make another video just showing what 500 miles on Hoka's look like. Because I'm a heavier runner and, you know, I kind of step pretty neutral. And um, if y'all saw my old shoes, y'all would see like it has like no cushioning. It has like the hard foam on the on the sole and then it has a softer like bouncy foam kind of where it touches your foot that that hard foam is gone so it's now wearing down on the soft foam you know it, it didn't feel good when I, while I was running now though I feel like my feet feel a lot more bouncier and I feel like I got more energy yeah that's great God damn, dude, everyone keeps getting in trouble in front of me. 12.32. And I'm still really, and I'm really, uh, I'm still feeling really comfortable. I think I just needed new shoes, man, to be honest. Here comes my favorite part, though, this uphill. Eleven fifty-seven, and I'm still feeling comfortable. I'm still feeling really good. Wait, I hit a mile. I didn't know what I hit, but I hit a mile. God, I don't know what, what split I hit.
11.56 I'll just go for 6 miles right now I'm at about 5.06 Anyways, I'm feeling good I'm warm, but I feel good I'm moving good Breathing good I just feel good Eleven fifty-seven. All right, and that's six miles. Wow. New shoes make a huge difference. Like I actually have like, tr I have traction. I got cushioning, and I got I got bounciness now. Feels good. All right, I'm gonna head inside because I'm not cold. I'm not hot either. I, I just feel good. I'll see y'all inside. All right, I'm back inside, and to conclude. To recap, this work, this run was really good. I ran a pretty good pace at a pretty good uh, effort and just felt really good. I wasn't hot at all, even though I dressed like really warm. I wasn't too cold, like I was perfect, man. That just goes to show, make sure you replace your shoes every like three to 400 miles because my old Hoka's have 500 something miles on them. Actually, I, I got it on Strava. It shows how many miles uh, they have. It's like over 500. At that point, they have no traction, they have no cushioning, and they're not good anymore. I really think now, in retrospect, that those shoes are the reasons why I'm like having some like issues recovering, just because um, I'm running harder than I should be, um, and since I'm getting no traction, I have to like force my muscles to work harder when they shouldn't be. I feel it too with my glutes. Both of them feel sore. Even though I didn't do any like, um, I didn't do any strength training or anything hard, just running. Anyways, I'm happy that I got new shoes and it seems that they're fixing most of my problems. And that's the video. If you guys liked the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.